360 persons have been killed by terrorists in the first quarter of 2022 in Kaduna State, according to the state government, a figure that has alarmed the authorities. That casualty number is besides the over 1,300 persons that were kidnapped under the period, which is why Governor Nasser Arufa is meeting everyone within the hierarchy of leadership here at the government house as it reveals a disturbing development that drives terrorism. The first great concern is the emergence of Boko Haram terrorist enclave, as well as the activities of Ansaru, particularly in Birnungwari and Chikul local governments. Amongst those kidnapped from the train, Abuja Kaduna train was a former roommate and classmate of mine. Throughout the period that he was in captivity, it was very clear that the terrorists were making comments like the forests in Kaduna are even better than Sambisa, so they should all relocate here. I think this is an area we should be very concerned about, and this is why we've been making the point that the problem of insecurity now has moved from the northeast to the northwest. With terrorists now making major inroads into the northwest, the state governor also raises concern over a possible threat to the 2023 election if nothing is done. If we don't improve the levels of security in some of our local governments like Birnungwari, uh, Chukun, Giwa and Igabi, it may not even be possible to hold elections in those local governments. And if we cannot have elections in four to six local governments, I wonder whether it would be possible to have elections at all in Kaduna State. With this revelation by the Kaduna State government, arguably nothing is of greater priority at the moment beyond ensuring the security of lives and property, as about 60 people are still being held captive by terrorists from the March 28 Abuja-Kaduna train attack in Chikun local government area of the state.